Plimpton Ross Berry. Born a free man in Lawrence County, Pennsylvania, a master of the bricklaying art at the age of 15, he was a renowned architect long before the term was commonly applied. Berry was the most respected man of color of his time, due in part to his exemplary family life and his construction of most of what was to become known as downtown Youngstown, Ohio. His accomplishments included the fabled Opera House, the Todd House Hotel, Governor David Todd's Mansion, the Old County Courthouse, the original First Presbyterian Church, the original St. Columba Cathedral, and the Old Rayan School. Born in 1835, Barry travels to Youngstown by canal boat in 1861 with wife Mary Long and four of their eventual eight children accompanied by Lemuel Stewart, an early partner. P. Ross Barry is to become the contractor for brickwork on virtually every major building erected during the years to follow. Up into the 80s, Barry is the only mason contractor in the city. He is so highly regarded that he has white laborers working under him, a practice unheard of at the time. As his reputation grows, Barry is called upon to build projects in Oil City, Mercer, Poland, Warren, and Newcastle. Each of Barry's sons learned the bricklaying trade. He eventually assists one of them in construction of the Todd School in 1914. P. Ross Barry is a lover of music, and each of his eight children, four boys and four girls, receives a music education at his insistence. One of his sons, a professional actor, eventually forms a band which tours England. One of his daughters becomes a well-known local music teacher and performer. Another son forms a local band which performs at the Canfield Fair for many years. Barry's friends are among the prominent and powerful, such as Governor David Todd, whose mansion Barry builds on Fifth Avenue not once, but twice when the original structure burns to the ground. When Barry first arrives in Youngstown, Few imagine the impact this phenomenal six-and-a-half-foot, soft-spoken, well-mannered young father is to have on their community. His crowning achievement is to be known as the Youngstown Grand Opera House, built in 1873 and located on the southwest corner of what is called the Diamond Block, next to what is now the Mahoning National Bank building. Famed Shakespearean actor Edwin Booth is to declare, I found a gem of an opera house in Youngstown, Ohio, the finest little opera house between New York and Chicago. The Opera House features an Italian silk grand drape depicting Apollo crossing the heavens in his chariot. This magnificent structure is raised in 1924 to accommodate expansion of the bank and a fish market. The sumptuous grand drape is rumored to exist to this day. What is more than rumor is the indelible mark Plimpton Ross Berry left on this community. His work is all around us today. His legacy is one of beauty and function. His tradition continues in his family, many of whom still remain in this area. When the Rayan School is rededicated many years later, the ceremony is attended by Barry's great-granddaughter, Hazel Turner. Barry continued to lay bricks alongside two of his sons to the last. He died at 82 in 1917. He rests beneath a simple classic marker at Oak Hill Cemetery. A simple man of greatness, at peace among the influential, the wealthy, the movers of his day, an undisputed visionary far ahead of his time. Respected, admired, imitated, and loved. A man who transcended color, station, and humble beginnings. <laughs>